Is there a car that does not require a battery and run completely on solar power? Well, apparently there is one. The Lightyear Zero is a fully solar-powered long-distance passenger car. In this video, we take a look at the amazing Lightyear Zero. But before we begin with the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. With that said, let's dig right into today's content. The Lightyear Zero is one of the most exciting cars out there. To start off, this fully solar-powered car has a driving range of 300 miles, which is better than the average battery-powered electric car, which does 230 to 260 miles. Comparing the Lightyear to its competitor, the Tesla Model 3 Long Range All-Wheel Drive, the Lightyear offers 4% more range, but it is more than that. The Lightyear can be driven for weeks or months without charging. The company promises up to 6,480 miles of additional miles each year in the sunniest climate. As for cities with far less sunny days, don't worry because the company has a solution. Suppose your commute is 20 miles daily. You can drive your light year, zero, for two months before you need to think about charging. And charging the light year zero is pretty convenient. You can use any power outlet, even the one at your home, to charge your car. Compare that to BEV cars where you're limited to charging stations, whether it's public or at home. The Lightyear Zero can charge 21 miles of range per hour. The Zero can also fast charge at up to 323 miles, where there is available infrastructure to do so. But remember, the car already gets juice from the sun. Let's take a look at how the Lightyear uses solar panels to get free power. The hood, roof, and luft gate of the Lightyear Zero have almost 54 square feet of patented double-curved solar arrays to absorb sunlight. The solar panels can give your car an additional 43 miles of range every day, whether it's driven or parked outdoors. That's not a lot, but at least it can cover the average commute. Plus, if you're stranded in the middle of nowhere, you can juice up even without an outlet nearby. The idea here isn't that the sun provides all the needed charging for the car, but the point is the car can charge slowly using daylight to extend its range and reduce how often you need to charge. So you can see why Lightyear says they've reinvented charging. The Zero is also unique for other reasons. It's the first production passenger car to use in-wheel hub motor. It's miller and lighter for the power they deliver, and they eliminate the need for drive shafts and other components. The four motors have a combined output of 474 horsepower and 1,269 pound-feet of torque. It can sprint from 0 to 60 in 10 seconds and pushes a top speed of 100 miles an hour. It's clearly not a speed demon and seems less impressive when you compare it to a Tesla Model 3 all-wheel long-range drive, which reaches from 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds and can reach 145 miles per hour. Lightyear says they successfully developed the most efficient electric drivetrain ever, and doing so on a 60 kilowatt per hour battery isn't easy. To put it in perspective, the Model 3 Long Range All Wheel Drive runs on an 82 kilowatt per hour battery, but because of Lightyear's onboard battery, you can get a solid 348 miles on the highway driving at 68 miles an hour, and that is on a cloudy day when the sun isn't even shining. Another feature of this car is that it is mirrorless. Instead, drivers get a screen on both sides of the interior where they can see each view via an exterior camera. The Lightyear also has an aerodynamic design helping it cut through the air and minimizes the energy loss through air resistance. This is a car with a low drag coefficient, which means less resistance. The Zero has a low drag coefficient of 0.19, which is pretty cool. The Lightyear Zero is also extremely lightweight. The automaker claims the mostly carbon fiber Zero weighs just 3,472 pounds, despite its mid-size sedan plus sizing and battery. Now that we know so much about the Lightyear Zero, let's talk of the price as well. So far, Lightyear's sales ambitions for the US market aren't totally clear. That said, the Lightyear Zero is said to be reaching customers by December of this year, though likely in Europe and Lightyear's Netherlands home market. In the Zero's debut, the company says the car has been signed off on by regulators without specifying which regulators or where. You can go on Lightyear's website and order the Zero now, but we should warn you, it's pricey. While last year it was estimated that the production Lightyear One would cost $175,000 or so, the Lightyear Zero shoots right past that. 
Lightyear lists the Zero's base price of $260,000 before VAT. Just as sure as the sun will rise tomorrow, the price of new high technology ain't cheap it seems. Well, that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.